Yo, welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil, and we got dropped on us today here. Five new rune words for the upcoming ladder here for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, interesting enough, five of them dropped by my boy over here, Macro Bio Boy. So it's kind of crazy that there's actually four people who are dropping rune words, I'm assuming possibly over the next couple of days, and Macro Bio Boy got five. So I wonder how many each individual creator got. Is there going to be 20 new rune words for this season? Hard to say, but right here from Macro Bio Boy, we got what kind of looks like some budget rune words, possibly for kind of the mid game or really, really early on in the ladder. So let's take a look at any of these. Are these all just garbage? Are they super overpowered? Did they mess it up? Let's take a look at it and kind of talk about any of the use cases that I personally think there could be. Some of them are more usable cases than others will say, but I'm gonna spitball some stuff out there. Maybe you guys could come up with some good ideas too. Let me know down in the comments your opinions on any of them, stuff like that. So the first one over here, we're talking about ground. They put this one and you do notice each one of these starts off with shale and IO. And then the uh, rune at the end kind of determines what the resistance and, and absorb on it is going to be or whatever. So right here, we've got the hit recovery, the enhanced defense, the vitality from the IO, increased max life. And then down here, we got the lightning res and lightning absorb. So I would assume based upon how these all look, there's going to be a range, possibly 10 to 15 on the absorb. And I don't know if it's going to be 50 to 70 or something like that on the resistance maybe 50 to 60 or maybe 40 to 60 excuse me because this first one is 43 on the res so i don't know the specifics quite yet but um and with the lightning absorb some instances you know obviously ubers early on getting lightning absorb maybe you this is a, a helm you throw on specifically for that mega budget uber week one before you even find a t gods or if you don't even want to care to trade for one because who cares you can just make an item out of an io rune essentially you get lightning absorb and a ton of lightning res. Perhaps there's a use there. Um, don't forget too, these can be made in class specific items like the barb helms and the druid pelts. So um, besides the uber smiter, not a ton use that I would ever think of there. Perhaps if you're going down to some place where there's gonna be souls uh, with all that lightning damage, perhaps, but that's about the only time the uber smiter that I would think would use that super early on in ladder. Coming out to hearth here, um, the same stuff as before, hit recovery, enhanced defense, vitality, max life. This one's cold though here, you see cold res and cold absorb. Cold absorb, probably one of the least important in the entire game. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I can't think of a, a real use case why I would ever do this. Um, there, with those runes, I would just rather do something else with some, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, nope, still can't think of anything, thought as hard as I could, so Arth right there, I think that's Kind, it's kind of useless in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you can think of anything, but at least the ground one has some use case purpose that I can kind of think of. Over here at Temper. Now here's one, same stuff as before, hit recovery, defense, vitality, and max life. This one's got fire res and fire absorb. Now pretty popular at the early part of ladder, trying to find high runes and different jewelry and stuff from Trav. Everybody knows the hydras out there can really slap you down and also your mercenary, lots of times people don't even take one out there because he can never ever survive. So you can at least get a little bit of benefit here, possibly on your mercenary, on you in particular, getting some fire absorb and a bunch of fire res, canceling out a lot of what the hydras do there. Also on this, let's say you find a druid pelt, you, you don't have any high runes yet, but you wanna make something, you have a pelt that has three to volcano, three to fissure, whatnot stuff like that druid pelt with the sockets in it you can go ahead and plug this rune word in it you can throw on a fire sunder charm and this will make up for what you lose from your resistances early on on the the fire sunder charm obviously later i believe flickering flame with the minus res blah 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 you know all the stuff on the flickering flame would be better than this for sure but this could be like the budget option you throw into your flickering flame base zap it out with a hell rune in a town portal and then you go ahead and use this until you get that Vex rune. So that is an option right there. And any other options, uh, you know, throwing it into some Barb Helm, I wouldn't necessarily seeing, but if you are running trap with that item find Barb, perhaps that could be an option, I suppose. Moving down to Ball Work here. Interesting name, don't know what that means. Maybe I'll have to Google it later, but same stuff, hit recovery, but instead it also has five to life leech, which is important on any melee character, obviously, and since this one also down at the bottom, you see damage reduced and physical damage reduced by percentage. 
it also has replenished life so this one is obviously designed more so for physical players it does appear in my opinion to be better than the other ones so i think that's good since melee characters are generally worse off all around in the game so another option for this too throwing this in a mercenary a helm for a mercenary um early on it can be tough to get life leech on your act 2 or act 5 mercenary not to mention you could throw this in a barbarian helm for a barbarian or that act 5 mercenary as well 30 replenish life is a super high number i can't think of where seeing a number that high on replenish life to be perfectly honest i'm sure there maybe there is one but i can't think of it offhand probably just because usually i don't concentrate too much on replenish life but at that high a number you know there you go the damage reduced in physical damage reduced percentage helping out there you know counteracting uh, some of what the physical sunder charm stuff does but also like i said getting that damage reduction and that life leech on your act 2 mercenary specifically we'll talk about then you can go ahead and maybe try to get some resistance on your armor and then that could be a budget option maybe you couldn't find that talus mask super quick or even maybe on a playthrough, you can get an IO rune at, you know, the Nightmare Countess or something. You get the damage reduced and life leech for your mercenary on a playthrough. So they can help you out there. Beyond that, maybe you're going Fury Druid. You got some Druid Pelt with some skills on it. Because don't forget the class-specific applications you can use for this stuff. Uh, Barb Helms and the Druid Pelt specifically. So that sounds like kind of the most right there. Um, we'll go ahead and move on over to Cure. Now this one, just the tile room is different. The same stuff as on a lot of the other ones. Hit recovery, defense, vitality, increase max life. But this one's obviously the poison version. Now, this wouldn't necessarily be the best, but I did think about this. Poison res and poison length reduce is about the only thing that is important on an energy shield Nova Sorceress because the lightning and fire and stuff will get eaten away at the mana but the poison poisons you and then your life goes down so poison length reduced of 75 is kind of super important on an energy shield sorceress and then having your poison res higher so you take less damage from that poison as well so that could be one use case a super budget option for an energy shield sorceress and like the first week of ladder before you get your shako i'd probably throw shako on for sure and try to figure out the poison res situation somewhere else because that's so good but this could help out with that early on for those energy shield sorceresses um also obviously uh poison res making up for the poison sunder charm as usual so uh as for class specific applications uh i wouldn't necessarily say maybe you're going with a rabies druid perhaps so you're making up for the sunder charm um right there in with along with the skills and stuff i would say that's not used hardly ever if at all often so kind of once again just a budget option early on maybe making up for a sunder charm before you can get stuff to do it later uh you know at the beginning of ladder for a poison necro perhaps or something like that so in my opinion this ball works one's probably going to get used the most and probably like on mercenaries and temper also i think is going to get used on mercenaries for running trav and stuff like that early on as well Perhaps even your character to help you survive out there as well. So a, a lot of so the absorbs are going to be kind of the important part. That's just going to be a budget option to throw on before later on when you get better gear. So uh, none of them are crazy godly. A couple of them I think are not going to be used literally at all. And some of them are going to be used in some particular small use cases. Like I said, hit the comments and let me know where would you use these at if at all. Do you think they're all just trash? Do you think it's great? Do you think it's great that there's just new room words finally coming? Some more to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Peace out, fellas. And don't forget, keep slaying. Ooh.